Cura. This is Pat's postcard, an audio postcard from wherever I am. And I'm in the wild and wonderful west coast of New Zealand's South Island. The west coast has a reputation for being wet and windy. And even on a quiet sunny day, it's unwise to go swimming. The sea is big with dangerous rips, but the beach is great to walk along. The backdrop on a clear day is magnificent. Bush clad hills with snow on the mountain tops of the Southern Alps, even in summer. We're staying in the historic township of Ross between Hokitika and Fox Glacier. Ross is famous for its gold, mined here since the 19th century, with some claims still working in the area. There's a great short walk at Ross through the old gold working, starting at some restored old buildings, including the jail. The walk also takes you past a stream where public fossicking is still allowed. What's that little bit there then, Wendy? Oh, oh it is, isn't it? <laughs> I think it might be. It's a tiny little <laughs> flake. Cool. But it does look like what the chap showed us in yeah. the in this in the eyesight yeah how do we identify it go show him oh yeah we could take it back to him he might say no nah, it's nah. not give it to me i'll look after it for you <laughs> oh we might be millionaires Ooh, what's that bit sparkling oh. there oh where that's a big bit oh no it's boring on the underside but on the top side it's not shining mm -hmm. Well, you never I might have know. got a new career. <laughs> <laughs> Gold panner mm, extraordinaire. Freezing <laughs> in the standing in this mountain stream. Imagine what it was like in the 19th century. Oh, hard work. Hard work. It was fool's gold, so we did not make our fortune. The other major extractive industry on the west coast was timber. There are still majestic stands of Rimu. Kahikatea and Southern Beach, even though much was exported through Hokitika. The timber was taken out along the Ross Railway line, disused for trains but now part of the West Coast Wilderness Trail between Ross and Greymouth. We donned bikes for a 40k ride between Ross and Lake Mahinapua. What's it like on the bike, Wed? It's a lovely route though, cycling through all these flats. It's like a tunnel of flats, isn't it? And blackberries. Oh, and blackberries, you found some blackberries. Oh, yeah. Bridge. Oh, single file. I think this is an old railway bridge. So, this is the Tortora River, the old historic Tortora River railway bridge. Wow. And to the left is the sea. To the right is the mountains. Wow, fantastic. Wow. Apologies there for the quality of the recording. It was challenging riding one handed on a gravel track on a windy day. The trail left the railway line to join a tramway, a lovely section of the ride, with a short walk down to the lake for a swim and a picnic. This part of the track went through bush not cut over and was delightful. Big trees and mossy banks and incongruously a European blackbird singing. Not to be outdone, the counterpoint came from a bellbird. The people of the West Coast are known as coasters with a reputation for independence, borne out in part by isolation. But we had such a warm welcome in Ross, epitomised at the historic Empire Hotel, where a couple of locals played guitar, mandolin and banjo in the pub garden on a Sunday afternoon.
followed by a splendid evening roast buffet. They also told a joke or two. Here's one I repeat. Why did the Mexican throw his wife off the cliff, Wendy? Tequila! <laughs> to play out, here's a few bars of Purple Rain, unusually played on guitar and banjo. Purple. 